All right, guys, I am back and excited to show you some sound samples of the Dragon's Heart guitar pick, faux guitar pick line that I have uh, recently ordered and did a video on uh, the unboxing of and just some overview of them on the last uh, video. So let's get started in that right away. I don't have anything pre-planned as far as what to play or anything like that. What I do have are my trusty guitars here. I have my Breedlove Revival DR Deluxe and my Martin DCX 1E, uh, both of them well used. And we're going to start with the Breedlove as it is my favorite. And what we're going to talk about is very simply, like I said, what the, these sound like. So first of all, to give you an idea, I want to go over the uh, pure guitar pick and see what it sounds like. And then we can compare the other two faux guitar picks, okay? So this is just some random playing. Now, uh, you're going to be hearing it coming out of the lapel microphone, which I have strapped to me right now. Drumming. Love the pure line uh, of Dragon Heart's guitar picks, Dragon's Heart guitar picks, because they just have a nice balanced tone. I've tried all of them, and the only one, uh, the other one that comes close, is the GT for me. Anyway, the original is pretty good, but it isn't as punchy. It doesn't have uh, as much definition to me as the pure. Really enjoy the pure, and each one of these they have on their website to say what the difference is. On those I'm currently looking at right now. Uh, this one is a hundred percent polyamide imide. It's not mixed with anything else. The other lines are. Uh, it's I find it funny that the original, I don't know if that's the first one they made, but the original is made is uh, has a 12% graphite feel, while the pure is just a hundred percent polyamide imide, like aircraft material, you know. It says that it has a warmer, softer tone, uh, which it is a bit warmer, but to me it does have a little bit of definition, like I said, a little bit of brilliance. The GT is a 30% carbon fiber. It helps the, the lines become a little bit uh, snappier and stand out a little bit better. I actually, on the album that I, I'm trying to work on right now, and uh, the single which I recently released, Start the New Year Today, uh, I use the GT for the solos and I use the Pure for the rhythm parts so that the GT would, would stick out a little bit better. And the Hardened Dragons guitar pick is my least favorite personally. Because to me it's a little too bright, but it's made with a 30% glass fiber feel. Okay, so that was the sound of the pure, uh, the standard side. Now here's what it sounds like with the sharpen tip, which is the only other one I, I ever use um, when the other one starts, when the standard point starts to wear down. So it's a little bit more of a snap when we go back to the standard. And then back to the sharp. That's all picking, let's do some strumming. So to me, that's a little bit brighter, 
uh, the sharpened pick, it's not as easy to strum with. One tip I tell my students is you want to really choke up on the pick so that barely any of the pick is showing through your thumb there. I mean, you can hardly see that because if you have a lot of picks sticking out, they're going to get stuck between the strings. You want to choke up on that pick so that you have just a very bit, a little bit of a tip showing through. And it will be easy to strum a lot better with uh, that sharpened point. So that's the pure. If you want to go back and rewind that and listen to that before you get on to the next one, that's fine. Let's start with the Golden Dragon guitar pick from Dragon's Heart and see what it sounds like. Now this is, remember, this is the more frosted kind of uh, feeling one and it feels a little bit slicker, but the, like I said the on the last video, the logo really helps prevent slippage. It has a good grip on there and it's very almost invisible. You can't really feel it, but you know it's there and it does help you grab that guitar pick. So let's try this one out. This is the Golden Dragon. picking. brighter not too bad though not too overwhelmingly sheen you know sparkly or anything like that nice tone now let's try the sharpened edge of that let's see what that sounds like now remember that sound a little bit brighter let's see what the sharpened edge sounds like it may surprise you to pick it again. So, uh, that's both of those points. Now let's play them again really uh, distinctly. Standard point, sharpen point. A little bit more volume out of that one seems like. Back to the standard. Sharpen. Seems like the sharpen point meddled out just a little bit. Now let's go back to the uh, uh, pure. Does have a warmer, sharper tone, a warmer, softer tone. Sharp inside here. Okay, so this is more of a metal tone. Back to the Golden Dragon. Now there is a little bit since this is more of a frosted pick. There is a little bit of a scrape sound that you just don't get with the uh, pure. Not as much anyway. Uh, but that's that's minimal. I mean, that's not anything that's going to you know make or break my tone. 
Sounds very good. Uh, I've been using, like I said, the V pick for a while and it sounds uh, very similar. So rather than switch to a pick that I've not been playing for years and getting used to a new shape altogether again, I'd rather stick with, you know, Dragon's Heart because it's what I'm used to, it's what I like. And I have that versatility of two different points that I'm really going to use. Uh, and so when I tried these faux picks out, I was kind of skeptical, but having heard them, I remember when I took these to my uh, bluegrass class and said I haven't played these yet. I'm really you know, excited to hear what they sound like. And when I, I had that little apprehension at first, when I started playing it and I heard that first tone, I was like, not bad, you know. So um, I really, you know, like the, now I can speak for the Golden Dragon. I like the sound of that one. But it's very interesting. Like I said on the last video, that's more of a frosted look. While the blood, Dragon's Blood, at least the ones that they gave me, is more of a smooth look. And this does affect the tone. It's weird because if it's the same material, why would it affect the tone like that? So I'm, I'm wondering if it's not the same exactly uh, plastic. Maybe there's different thermal grade plastic materials. And it would be nice if they would list that on their website because I'm curious about why that is. So one more listen to the standard point of the Dragon's, uh, the Golden Dragon faux pick. Now listen to the Dragon's Blood pick. It's a little mellower, a little bit warmer. And to me, I don't have as much definition on that high E string. That's the golden. Here's the red. I don't know. It seems like it, it gets buried in the mix a little bit more. picking here. Uh, about to run out of things to pick. Let's try uh, something to see. Been sticking with D and G lately. That's in C, a little some picking in C, C. Okay, that's the standard point. Let's switch to the sharpened edge and see what that sounds like. Now I've got the definition back in the E. Go back to the standard. I don't know, it seems like it muffles it a little bit and cuts it off. But with a sharpened edge, it stands out. Each, each, each string is a little bit more defined. Okay, 
So now for me, I prefer the sound of the sharpened edge for this Dragon's Blood pick. Uh, I don't know, it just seems more defined. And the standard seems a little bit more mellowed and muffled. There's different occasions, there's different opportunities where you might want both sounds. And I like the versatility of that in the sense that we have one pick with three different sounds in it. I mean, the third one is obviously the rounder, which I never use, but just to give you an idea of what it sounds like. <laughs> Now, if you like a rounded for picking, then by all means, you've got a rounded ed edge here, but there is more surface area on the bevel that's gonna be hitting the string. So you're gonna have a little bit more of a pick noise. It's gonna have more of a scraping uh, sound than it would if it was a standard. And, or the sharpen. And here's the rounded again. You hear that a little bit more. That, that harsh picking sound because naturally with the rounding you have a little more surface area. You may like that, I don't know. So uh, that is it for the, the breed love test. Let's go back to my Martin here. Let's go to my Martin, uh, DCX1E, and we'll see what it sounds like with the same test applied, all right? All right, so once again, let's look at the sound of the pure first. Quite a bit different tone, not as much, you know, girth as the Breedlove, but still has a wonderful tone for this guitar, this, uh, the pure, uh, yeah, the pure Dragon's Heart guitar pick does. And that's the standard, here's the sharp. I'm going to use the Dragon's Blood on this one, see if it has a different tone. To me, a more mellow sounding than the Pure, again. Sharpen the edge. Once again, more distinct. Apologize for my tuning here. And yes, that was Oh Holy Night, uh, if you were wondering about it. I've actually been working on some Christmas lessons with a few of my students. All right, so that's the uh, Dragon's Blood. And I'm going to put this back in here because this is the one I think I'm going to keep in this guitar. I'm going to keep the Dragon's Blood in this guitar and the Golden Dragon in the Breed Love. Let's check out the Golden Dragon on the Martin, see what it sounds like here. Once again, that frosted uh, texture has a little bit more of a scratchy sound to it, but it it's more, it's a little bit brighter, a little bit more brilliant.
that's the standard and now the sharpened edge. Okay, so there you have it guys. Uh, this is the official gear demo and review for the Dragon's Heart Guitar Picks the Foal line. Once again, I'm using the Golden and the Golden Dragon and the Dragon's Blood picks. Uh, really enjoying both of them. Uh, the Golden probably more so for its tonal quality, less so for its pick noise. And the opposite of this. I like this, the, the red one better for its mellowness. Kind of has more of a compression sound to it. But also the sharpen point gives me the, the tone, the definition that I need for the sound. All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys learned something from it. Mostly all the songs I was playing was very random. I can't remember any one that I might have, you know, heard off the top of my head anywhere else, but there's really nothing in those songs that are distinct that I can think of. I try to be as random as possible and just play whatever comes to mind. I say that because a lot of people say, hey, what's that song you played on, you know, whatever video? I didn't really play a song. I was just messing around in different keys. And uh, those three different keys were C, G, and D are the three essential keys that I, you know, believe are essential in learning bluegrass guitar. And if you would like to learn some of the techniques that I have uh, been playing and demonstrating with these picks and with, you know, how important picks are and playing different licks and things like that, then definitely check out bluegrassguitaressentials.com. That is my main product on this subject. I have... Uh, I enjoy bluegrass so much that I wanted to create a product about it. I was passionate about it, and I did so. And uh, it's been a huge hit for a lot of people. And uh, so if you enjoyed this video, please like. Please give that a thumbs up, this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel. And I've been kind of slow coming out with uh, new videos and things like that, but I've had a lot on my plate trying to get some other stuff done. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I guess I'll see you in the next video, whatever that may be. Uh, I'd like to really uh, do a video on how the... Breedlove acoustic pickup and everything sounds on my PV Viper amp. Uh, I've tried it out, finally got to try it out, but I haven't got to do a video on it. And I really would like to do that sometime. So hopefully maybe uh, I'll get around to that very soon. Just from week to week, I never know what the, the videos are going to be. I just try to, you know, as I'm inspired, try to uh, sit down and record them for you. And I hope you enjoy these. If you do, please spread the word. Please like, please subscribe, and check out bluegrassguitarcentrals.com. If you're more on the electric guitar side, I also have a site called Secrets of Texas Blues Guitar .com. You, can, you can check out that I did uh, mostly for electric guitar on lead and a lot of lead licks. There's over 40 licks in that course uh, that you can check out in you know different rhythm ideas and uh, a lot of it is concerned with blues, which is a very uh, it's a precursor to rock and a lot of the, the styles that you see today in electric lead guitar. So definitely check that out as well. And you can check the blog out at ericbadie.com. And so that's me in a nutshell. Also, please check out ericbetty.com slash music. Uh, I've recently released uh, my first single, Start the New Year Today. I'm hard at work trying to get the rest of the album done. Now that I know a little bit more about the mixing process, hopefully it will be a lot quicker getting these out and getting the album completed. And I've also re-released a lot of tracks and songs that I wrote while I was in various bands. That's going to be kind of my central hub for music is ericbetty.com slash music. Uh, a lot of that's being released on Amazon, on Spotify, Pandora, Google Play, a lot of different places. Try other retails and search for my name and you can find those songs there as well. Thanks so much guys and we'll see you on the next video, whatever that may be. Keep playing guitar, keep playing bluegrass and we'll see you later. God bless.